considering we've got more women than ever in Parliament and it's still so pitifully low, yeah. it's, uh, it's quite impressive, isn't it? I mean, but do you think things have changed in the last 40 years, let's say, or since the 1968? Great, it, it's absolutely immeasurable, mm -hmm. the change. There is no question that feminism's impact on, on our culture is, is dramatic. That doesn't mean that it's won. Mm -hmm. What it has done is really is shaken it. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows we're in an argument, we're in a conversation about what men are, what women are, how men and women are to be in relation to each other, where does class inflect with gender, where do both of those two things inflect with how you make life, how you sustain life, whether the ways that you have of making life and making work wreck the place or whether they make the place livable, sustainable and give the place a future, which is of course the great green question. But all of that, it's been mighty. The, the real tragedy, I think, for feminism is that no sooner was it around, bouncing mm -hmm. onto the political stage than the political stage became a very inhospitable place. At the end of the 1970s, the advent of Thatcherism really took a size mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the political conditions that feminism needs in order to, th to flourish. Its attack on welfareism is a very mm -hmm. good example. Women cannot thrive without a state that is committed to social solidarity. I think it's one of the interesting things though that the, the period of Thatcherism saw lots of setbacks in all kinds of ways but actually that's also the period where a lot of the arguments of feminism became more entrenched in the mainstream. Well because people... feminism was, feminism didn't get up, give up mm -hmm. and one of the most important arenas in which feminism found an institutional life was local government mm -hmm. where really dramatic things were happening in the 1980s. Really interesting things were being invented mm -hmm. in the 1980s. Um, then of course Thatcherism took, took the axe to local government. Mm -hmm. uh, there are all sorts of other domains where feminism has been tremendously vigorous. Trade unions is one, the academy is the other. And actually I think in all of those very difficult to measure mm -hmm. contexts that are either, that stretch from, you know, the kitchen table, mm -hmm. to the land, to the way that people think about what they eat, um, the connections between gender and green issues are also palpable because green issues are about what makes life on earth sustainable. You can't just have a way of thinking about growth and production that means you, uh, you lay waste to the planet and think that mm -hmm. that's a good thing to do. So do you think they're necessarily connected? I think they're feminism, necessarily and, connected. Mm -hmm. I think they're necessarily connected. Because I suppose I mean, one of the things that I'm quite interested in is how um, environmental issues or concern about environmental issues is, is again, you know, becoming more mainstream. So you can have conservatives who are genuinely worried about climate change sure. uh, and conservatives have always been interested in conservation issues in terms of the local wood they want to protect from a road going through it or whatever. Um, would you say that they're not, can a conservative be an environmentalist I suppose is my question. Do you know it's a similar question to can a conservative be a feminist. Mm -hmm. Some conservatives think they are feminists and I think fine, do your bit within your environment. As mm -hmm. it happens I think that Conservative ideology is incompatible with feminist objectives. I think that the neoliberal sway of the global economy is inimical to mm -hmm. the interests of women. It may employ women, but also, of course, the global economy hugely exploits them. But whether mm -hmm. it will deliver um, a sustainable society for women is, a, is another question. Likewise, conservatives find their way into a concern about green issues because, like all of us, they find their nooks and crannies of commitment and connection and mm -hmm. birds mm -hmm. 
birds. Many conservatives will love birds and care about birds and bees, and that's great.